hello and welcome to my video so in this video I will show you guys how to trim natural hair after it's blow-dried so as you can see the hair is already blow-dried I prefer to do a cut when the hair is blow-dried because the cut will come out even and if you do a really good cut the hair will still look fine after you wet it and leave it natural so I will be starting the cut at a zero degree and for 4C hair, curly hair, you know, natural, very kinky, tight, curled hair, you want to take a larger section in the back because some people have the nape area or what we like to call the kitchen area. The hair back there sometimes is shorter than the mid part of your head. So you want to take a bigger section just in case so you don't cut more than necessary. So I comb the hair down as you can see multiple times to see how the hair naturally falls. So her hair naturally falls at like a U shape. So I'm not going to go in and give her a straight cut. I'm going to cut it in a U shape. So I'm going to part it down directly in the middle and I'm going to take one section and pull it to the same direction that it's going. So for example, I'm going to cut the part, part it in the middle. I'm going to take the right side and I'm going to pull the hair to the right and I'm going to cut at a zero degree going straight down same as the left I'm gonna take the left section I'm gonna pull straight down going towards the left the reason you would want to take the hair and pull it to the right or pull it to the left that's gonna give you the U cut versus pulling the hair all back straight down and just cutting that will give you a straight cut but separating the hair and pulling the right side to the right it's gonna give you a U shape Okay, so you're going to part your next section, and as you can see on the side, you want to pull down and just cut at an angle. When you cut, you want to go up, so you want to slant your fingers at an angle. By doing this, this will give the hair a slanted effect in the front. It will give it a shorter in the front and longer in the back appearance. You want to make sure to check and always follow your guide. That's gonna give you an even cut. Same goes for the other side. When you're doing an even zero degree, it doesn't really matter on the section size. Once you get to a level of comfort and you know what you're doing, so for this side, you want to do the same thing. You want to slant your fingers at an up angle so the front can appear a little shorter than the back. So for this section right here, you want to make sure you line the hair up with the hair in the back. Once you match it with the hair in the back, just follow your guide. When you get to your last top section, you want to ask how your client parts her hair. Um, I tend to do a middle part a lot because that's just universal. And a lot of people do a middle part. Um, if it's a side part, then you could do the cross the street haircut, but that will be in another video. So right here, she just did a middle part, and I evenly lined the hair up with the rest of the hair, and I follow the guide. Excuse the distraction in the background. <laughs> okay, so now as you can see, we got the basic shape for the hair. So now for natural hair, I don't like to do just a regular straight cut. I like to go in and give it a little long layers to, just to get rid of the little bulkiness at the end. Sometimes when you straighten the hair, it just looks bulky at the end and it doesn't look good. So I like to give it layers and also even when you leave the hair wet or natural, it just lays better and just it looks better. So I'm just going in at a little 90 degree. Sometimes you can take the hair at the top and do a 180. We're just going at a slight 90 all around just to give a little long layer. Thank <laughs> you. 
And like I said, the more you cut hair, the more you get comfortable, the more professional you become and expert you become at this, you'll get comfortable and you'll just find your own rhythm. Okay, so right here I am done cutting. So this is how I check my haircut. The hair that I part in the middle, I pull that hair forward and I make sure it matches up, depending on the cut. Sometimes it should be in a V-shape, sometimes it should match up. Right here, it should match up. And then I can go around and fix whatever needs to be fixed. This should be the last thing you do because this will help bring your hair cut together. And then just cut any hair that's left uneven or sticking out. Or if you feel like you need more layers anywhere, just go ahead and cut as you need. Yeah, but this is a perfect trim right here. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Bye!